do we consider beyond the pale? What behaviour or what belief is out of bounds? How does a group or an individual prove themselves to be completely unacceptable? In this context, we might say that so-and-so or such-and-such -such is anathema. It might be as trivial as the way a Mac user considers PCs. It might be as serious as the way a pacifist considers torture. But they will label these things anathema. It's an untranslated Greek word which literally means something that is placed or set up. It's something that's set up as cursed, beyond the pale. It's anathema. So what do you consider to be anathema? Let's think of the great anathema that is pronounced in the Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 22. Here is the Apostle Paul proclaiming an almighty anathema. He says, If anyone does not love the Lord, a curse be on him. Let him be anathema. Come, O Lord, or Maranatha. So here in 1 Corinthians 16 verse 22, we've got two untranslated words. Maranatha is a word from Aramaic, meaning come, O Lord. But between the word anathema and Maranatha, we see the depths and the heights of Paul's feelings about Christ. Paul can think of no greater blasphemy than a loveless heart towards Jesus. Whoever does not love the Lord Jesus, let them be a curse, let them be anathema. And he can think of no greater comfort than the return of the Lord Jesus. And so he says, Maranatha, come, O Lord. When the Lord Jesus does come again, there will be one issue which faces the world. None of our many sins will be held against us. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19 makes that clear. We won't be able to hide behind our goodness or our badness. It is Christ himself who confronts us. And the, the only question on that day will be, do you have love for him who has loved you so extravagantly? If we have no love for Jesus, we are anathema. The universe was created by Jesus and for Jesus, so says Colossians 1 verse 16. If we too are not for Jesus, we are completely out of place. We are violating the very nature of reality. We are cutting against the grain of the cosmos. We do not belong. We are anathema. What place can there be at the bridegroom's feast for those who do not love the bridegroom? What do you consider to be blasphemous, beyond the pale, anathema? According to the Bible, it's not bad behavior or bad belief, but a bad heart towards the Lord Jesus. That is the issue for that day when the Lord returns. But it's also the issue for today. We can make life very complicated. Right now, dozens of priorities will be jostling for precedence in your heart, but Paul wants to simplify things for us. Before all else, look to Christ. Before you look to your deeds or your creeds, it's the receiving of Christ himself that matters. Know in your heart, Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, the Son of God has loved you and given himself for you. His posture towards you is arms wide open. Do you have love for the Lord Jesus Christ? A heart for Jesus really is the heart of the cosmos.